When I say the words fun car, this is the sort of car that comes to mind. It's got two doors, two seats, a decently powerful engine and a roof that folds away into the boot. But when are you actually going to fold away that roof? It's either too hot, too dusty, too noisy and in the monsoon, it's too wet. Then what are your options if you want a nice photo car? That is also fun. And here it is, the CLA 45 AMG from Mercedes. It's got 360 horsepower, which makes it the most powerful four-cylinder engine in the world. This car has a two-liter engine, which puts out 360 horsepower and 450 newton meters. Now that's something you don't get in most V6 engines. It's got three modes as usual, comfort, sport and manual. So if you don't want to shift gears yourself, you use either comfort or sport. And if you want, you can use the paddles behind the wheel in either of these modes or just get full manual control with manual mode. Now I really like manual because unlike other automatics, it goes all the way to the red line and stays there. It doesn't shift up on its own. Now despite being turbocharged, this car has a very very linear torque spread. You can feel some turbo lag at low revs, but it evens out in the end. That's perfectly fine when you take the quickness of the gearbox into account gets 18 inch rims with tires that have an aspect ratio of just 40. Now what that means is they are literally just painted onto those massive wheel rims and as a result it rides really hard. Now there is a trade-off, we get really good grip out of this. It's also got four wheel drive by the way which can split the top front to rear as in when is necessary. So you get a really good handling car which doesn't ride really well. The steering is light at low speed, it's very accurate, but it doesn't really have the same feel that we're used to from an AMG. The other thing is the brakes. They're great, they bite really well, they've got great progression. So all in all, as a fun car, yes, I do think the CLA 45 does make a very good case for itself as a fun car with very good performance. You see, for me, an AMG has always been the rumble of a V8. And here, this car, it sounds more like a superbike rather than a car. But that said, those of you who like your engines turbocharged are going to love this engine because every time you put your foot down hard and get off it, you can hear the hiss of the wastegate just like you would with any tuner car. The CLA and the A are derived from the same platform. So in effect, the A becomes the hatchback, whereas the CLA becomes the sedan. Because of that, you see a lot of elements from the A-Class in the CLA. The other half is that it's an AMG. So yes, there are a few things that are very, very exclusive to this car. Like this steering wheel, for example. It's got leather and Alcantara all over it and feels really good to hold. Another thing is the gear shift lever. It isn't the same as any of the other Mercs. A third thing that AMG provides is brilliant seats. They are very sporty Recaro seats. They have brushed aluminium accents, not to mention red. Now that is why my seat belt is rather loud, but I'm sure that those of you who are sporty will like it. Now one thing that you may not like in the CLA is the rear seat space. Now that's the price you pay for a good looking car. And this is after all an AMG, so it's all about the driver's seat. So I'm not going to complain too much about lack of space in the back. CLA is called that because it is modelled on the CLS. You can see a lot of A-Class in the front, but you can also see a lot of AMG. 
You can see that in these two silver stripes on either side of the logo. You can see that in the silver bottom of the front bumper, which helps duct air better. It's the same with these large intakes. They help send air towards the intercooler so that the engine is getting much colder air. Now, if you walk around to the side, the first thing you'll notice is these large AMG wheels. They are the same design as most other AMGs. They are five spoke, they are big, they've got split spokes. And hiding behind them is a giant scarlet AMG caliper, which is really, very really nice. On the fender, you'll see an AMG turbo badge, which is not something I thought I'd see in my lifetime. And one final surprise from the side, frameless doors. It's got nice large tail lamps, it's got light guides in the tail lamps, it's got the quad exhaust, the diffuser, everything you'd want in a large performance car, but it's in this small package. Additionally, the boot lip has a small little kick at the back to act as a spoiler, but it looks all very elegant despite the aggression. It's still a few days until the CLA 45 is launched and we aren't sure what the exact price of the car will be but we are certain that it will be priced around the rupees 70 lakh mark. Now at that price you get two-seater sports cars, you get convertibles and there's one car that we haven't mentioned so far and that is the Audi S4. It's quite similar to the CLA 45 in the sense that it's got four doors, four wheel drive and it's got a similar amount of power but the S4 is also a lot larger and has less power. So this really becomes the only real choice if you want the right mix of practicality and fun.